But tonight, we're going to show you the work by the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office to curb car thefts. State numbers show how bad a problem it's been overall with the steady increase of auto thefts over the last few years. In 2023 alone, more than 9,600 vehicles were stolen. But this year, there have been signs of improvement. Ben Henry hopped in a squad with a new unit dedicated to crack down on people stealing cars. For six months now, Sergeant Mike Vi has been with the Hennepin County Sheriff's Office. Where are we headed now? Uh, right now we're headed to the uh, Whittier neighborhood. Joining alongside the launch of their new auto theft unit. We're trying to get people, their, their property, their cars back as fast as we can. We rode along on a typical patrol for the unit. We'll get intel in the morning before we roll out. Spending time in hot spots, checking license plates, and watching for suspicious looking vehicles. So I'm just looking right here at this car with the door open. After checking, Sergeant Vi said it hasn't been reported missing. Hey man, how you doing? Still, Good. making sure all okay? is well. Okay. All right, just saw your car with the car open. Want to make sure you're not, no, thank you. you're not falling over or whatever. The new unit rolled out as the problem worsened. The latest state data shows thousands of cars stolen increasing over the last few years with more than 9,600 stolen cars in Hennepin County alone just last year. Something has to be done. Captain Matt Steffens oversees the work done by dedicated patrols and investigators. With our new unit, we're, we're starting to see a difference in, in the auto theft problem countywide. He says Minneapolis is their main focus, and numbers from the police department back up that improvement. So far this year, MPD reports more than 1,200 fewer stolen cars compared to last year at this time. We're all probably seeing and working with each other on a daily basis because it's all intertwined. Captain Stefan says efforts from automakers Kia and Hyundai have helped too, both hosting free events in the Twin Cities to get anti-theft software added to certain models. Back on patrol, Sergeant Vice says people can do their Just part, locking doors and anyway. taking their keys with them. As another stop, checks out okay. You can see that that's not punched, so. We'll move on. It's important to point out the numbers shared were just car thefts and did not include car jackings, which happens when someone is in their car and it's stolen with force. But Minneapolis police numbers also show an improvement this year for car jackings. As mentioned, we expect to hear from the Hennepin County Attorney's Office on what they're calling promising new data on youth auto thefts tomorrow, Kevin. Thank you very much, Ben.